Early on in the writing process for Prometheus, under the draft name Alien Engineers, there was already an idea of what would happen in the next chapter. But it was lost as these drafts would evolve into Prometheus, not only would the initial story change, but what we saw in its sequel, Alien Covenant, would be vastly different than what we might have seen in Alien Engineers Part 2. But now, thanks to the Script Apart podcast and John Spates, the writer of Alien Engineers and co-writer of Prometheus, we are finally learning of what was to be included in those early sequel plans. In case you aren't familiar with the Alien Engineers draft, it was a direct prequel to Alien ending with an engineer infected by an Ultramorph, an early version of the Deacon, who crashes his juggernaut on LV-426, setting up the events to be found by the Nostromo years later. Shaw, or Watts as she was called here, is left on the moon with David's head torn from his body like we saw in Prometheus. But they don't leave in an engineer juggernaut. Instead, they wait for help even as David asks her who will reply, humans or engineers. When John was asked if they had any outlines for films after Alien Engineers, he said, not as far as multi-page outlines for those movies. I think usually it pays to stay loose as you're writing a first installment. Stay loose about second installments because things will emerge for you and you shouldn't pretend you know where you're going from the beginning because you'll find out that you're wrong. But we did know that there was a war among the engineers, like a war in heaven, and that there would be good angels and bad angels that we would encounter. Wayland yutani being just Wayland was premeditated and we had plans for Utani, and the second film was going to be more of a conflict between the human factions in the space of this way station moon. So Utani was going to show up and have a very different agenda, and very different wants, and there was room to play a kind of Miller's Crossing man in the middle story with Shaw playing dice in between them. This is a huge reveal. He mentions a war between the engineers, and that we would meet both good and bad angels, referring to engineers that were for and against the human experiment. We already met engineers who were against mankind in Prometheus and in the Alien Engineer script. This could be the first opportunity for humans to meet the group that actually created us, the good angels. The amount of information that could be learned about the engineers, the universe, and ourselves could be incredible. And I'll expand on these engineer factions in another video. Yet as exciting as the news of engineer factions is, he seems to want to focus more on the human factions of Wayland and Utani and their motives on LV-426. Though it should be noted that in Prometheus, Wayland was in search of an extension to his life, to become immortal. But with alien engineers, he is instead looking for technology, specifically engineer terraforming tech, a skill that he would use later to build atmosphere processing stations. We even hear Vickers say this as the team locates the terraforming machines. Mr. Wayland's pouring trillions into Mars. He spent a fortune on building ships like the Magellan to search for colony planets. But Earth-like worlds are increasingly rare. The right distance from the sun, the right atmosphere, enough water, she glances across the suite at her holographic display, a live feed from the Pyramid worksite where David works on the terraforming equipment. This is a technology to transform worlds. He'll never give it up. And neither will I. So if Yutani isn't there to learn how to build atmosphere processing stations, what are they looking for? Well, perhaps they are the ones looking to use the alien for weapons and biological research, and that goal is brought over and focused on when the two companies merge. And if the Wayland Corporation has only encountered the bad angels, if Utani shows up and is met by good angels, they would definitely have a different outlook on the engineers. What are your thoughts on this outline for Alien Engineers 2 and its direction for the prequels? Let's discuss in the comments. Your likes, shares, comments, and subscriptions go a long way towards helping the channel grow. Take care, and I hope to see you next time.